Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the CWIT 2020 conference. Today, we will give you a brief run through of our site so you are better familiarized with it the day of the conference. After logging in, you will arrive on our homepage. This talks about the conference in a bit more detail. On the left hand side is the main navigation. It features the home button, the agenda, attendees, community, exhibitors, and messages along with other helpful resources. First item we will review is the agenda. The agenda has the full day schedule, everything listed in chronological order. If you prefer to see only certain topics, you can go to the tracks button and just select items that are relevant for your needs. This will allow you to see only those items instead of the entire agenda. Now, if you'd like to add items to your personal agenda, you may click the button on the right hand side that says add to my agenda. It asks if you would like this added to your Google Calendar. For demo purposes, we'll click no. However, if you would like to, this will link to your calendar and you will have it on yours personally that day. If you do add it to your agenda and you click the button right up here on the side that says my agenda, it will show all of the items that you have gone in ahead of time and added to your agenda. This is not required, but it is an available option if you would like to. If you go to the very first item, it this is how the page will look the day of. However, currently it is missing the Zoom video only because it has not been entered at this time. However, the day of you will have a Zoom video here and it will link you directly to the live video. You also have items such as the speaker's bio and the abstract for this talk. On the right hand side, you have session Q&A where you are able to ask a question along with a chat feature and the community tab, which is also on the left hand side. The next section is our attendees. You are able to search for anyone on here. Uh, pictures are only uploaded for the speakers. However, if you would like to upload your own picture, you are able to do so. If we view one of the profiles, it has the bio along with where they are speaking. Now, again, if you are an attendee, you do not have to enter your bio, that is totally up to you. But however, since this is a speaker, their bio is populated. The next tab is the community tab. This is a few different breakout rooms we have. They have tabs such as asking the organizers anything, We'll, we'll get back to you very quickly if you have a question for one of our admins. The organizer's announcements, anything that we would like you as an attendee to know, will populate here. And there's other items such as article sharing. If you have an article that you feel is relevant to the conference and would be beneficial for other people, you may share it here. The next tab is the exhibitors tab. These are all of our virtual exhibitors. They are listed here alphabetically and you can go through all of them and see them at any time. Some of them may have a video like this one. They will have contact information along with the company website and the bio. They also may have handouts just like this one that you are able to download and learn more about the company. If you would like to chat one-on-one -on -one with one of these consultants, you may add your chat here and they will get back to you in a timely manner. Now the last thing we will go over is the guides. If you have any additional questions or wanna know more detail about something, you can visit the Whova uh, speaker, attendee, or exhibitor guide, whichever one fits your needs. These will give you more information about your role and how there's tips and tricks that may help you. Now I hope you have a great time at CWIT 2020. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.